Greetings inside hate Asians everyone and I'm Bell Muffin and welcome to the plus 15 zero boss one. So starting class for uh, today is the thief because it starts out with the master key and we can pick black bio bombs because we need to get through the tutorial without killing the boss. Now it might look like I'm killing it but Actually, if we quit just before the boss despawns, if we open up the door again, the boss will stay alive, granting us the key from Osco. And the reason why we do this is we can leave the asylum without having to actually kill asylum demon, which is always nice. And as you can see right here, boom, still alive. So we can just waltz on out. Now our weapon of choice is the uh, Great Club. So we head on out, we grab the Humanities, so we can become human. Because we're gonna need some souls in order to wield our weapon of choice. So we are heading straight down to Blight Town in order to kill Man Eater Mildred. So welcome to FPS Town. <laughs> now apparently invaders get stuck on ladders if you underneath them. I thought they always try kicking you, but I guess not. So, easy way to kill in NPC invaders for those wondering. So have fun with that new tip of knowledge. And now, it's time to loot the entirety of Blight Town in terms of souls. So there was Three large souls of a proud knight, and our weapon of choice is heal. So just pass it in these two enemies, and we have our weapon. Now, if you're following this, if you want to go to the Great Hollow right away, be my guest. But I'm getting myself a plus five weapon right away to do all the uh, farming later on for chunks or large tight night shards a little bit easier for myself but I kill the black knight for some easy souls and the bow acquired heal will be used later on kill the crystal lizard in hopes of getting and stuff so less farming for us and you don't you can really buy eight because the giant knight blocking the file keeper soul drops a guaranteed tight knight shown and also the 800 souls for the final bit that I needed but I'm an idiot as you can always see in my videos and I waste unnecessary amount of souls for no reason at all. Get yourself killed. And after Andre says get yourself killed, we can finally wield our weapon. And after bit of leveling, we can actually wield it in two hands. So, we grab it. And then, we make our lovely way down to the Great Hollow, which is really an unnecessary step that I took of doing this whole plus five thing, but it's my channel, I can do whatever I want. I have some extra fire bombs for one particular 
crystal lizard. So easy chunk right there. And montage of killing and murdering every crystal lizard I see. A lot of them did not want to give the drops I got. But apparently I got lucky and got two tight night slam. <laughs> and lizards. But I don't need slabs when I got one. <laughs> I needed chunks and large tight night. So after all of that is all situated, we have to form some leeches for the large titanite shards. Now, this part isn't too bad, it literally only took me 10 minutes to form it up. I uh, used my humanity for some extra item discovery, but other than that, it shouldn't be too bad. They also have green titanite shards, so don't be too mad about it, but after all, we need nine titanite, sh nine large titanite shards, then seven titanite chunks that I mess up later on in the video. But now it is time for <laughs> Capua Demon Skip. So, that to be a fun one. So, just come down here, follow the path. Make sure to pick up the rubbish, because it will be actually useful later on. I don't use it, because I'm an idiot. But, here is the start of Capital Demon Skip. So, climb up the ladder and stop, and you actually move up, then roll onto the ledge. If you fall off, you can try and save a crit and you reload up there. Now, this part, you need medium roll, and that is essentially just 25 to 29% equivalent. But once you get here, you want to jump there. Then you want to run and jump off this corner right here that I do. I know I'm bad at explaining stuff, so just <laughs> look at what my character does. Then you want to jump up to here. Sometimes you can just walk up. Then you just fall down over here. And you just scoot yourself past here. And now you have access to the entirety of the depths. But the only thing we'll, you need is this baby right here. The large ember. And then have the nice butcher kill us. Because we don't have any homeward bones. Because I use them for farming. So heal. I'm sorry, soul quantity do. So you want to bring your highest soul or whatever consumable soul up underneath your SS flask. Then you want to go over to arrows and then unequip them so you can actually hit drop. You want to drop, go down to what highest number you can. And on this menu, you want to hit down. All one and X at at the same time, so you can have two men menus up at the same time. Go down to soul, quit game, and boom, sixty. <laughs> I'll try and have a, another video to show that battle, but here it is for now. If you want. <laughs> But oh boy, it's time for the very large ember.
and now everyone's favorite area for when they have to go ghost busting because who doesn't love a good killing ghost I know I hate it when they just go through the walls and all that because those get really annoying, but at least we have a plus 10 weapon that can just one-shot them. As you can see, I kind of died right there because of how many enemies there were. <laughs> but, ain't too bad in clearing them up. But now we get to the fun part, because we need a... I forget his name, but he has the key to the seal. And highly important item in order to get the very large emblem. So then we just happily shoot him away. And he actually makes it easier for us because when he gets aggroed, he literally just tries running up to you. So makes it a lot easier to shoot him down. I switch to the feather arrows because. Ooh, they do so much more damage, especially if you get headshots. But after he's done, we get the key to the seal, and so the farming of Titanite chunks and getting the large, mainly large emblem will be upon us. But yes. We get it, and I was really, I thought I needed 6 because the description says only to a plus 14, so I only farmed 6, but then, nice little skip for you guys if you want, so yeah, I pick it up thinking that is the only one I need. So I come over to Andre, start upgrading my weapon, and then just in a little bit I was wrong. Now if you use the rubbish at the close at the end of the asylum, you don't have to farm anymore. But literally the second dark race I farmed after that, literally dropped it. <laughs> So we now have a plus 15 at zero boss. <laughs> and then what better way to show off strength than on a metal? <laughs> he, he's trying to do that classic noob P EVP player that just tries paling no matter how far away they are. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I whiff so many shots because I wanted to see how much damage I do with a power attack. It is quite a lot of damage. <laughs> it's like every time they attack and I charge mine up. They're like, nope, I'm a dog it. And heal, a little bit too late for me, but drop the uh, rubbish at the crow's nest, and then they'll talk to you, and then pick up a uh, nice tight night chunk. Now, fun fact I learned is if you immediately drop into the Stray Demons boss arena, there's just no music to be played. So this was literally just no boss music, just the sound of the boss itself. <laughs> Which was really fun to not listen to because it was literally just the boss and me hitting it. Oscar goes down second time because why not? Then 
fail the plunging attack by just going straight through him. Like, very good indeed. Test damage out on Havel. And quite a lot of damage. We synchronize our hits and missing each other. And bonus crystal lizard that I could have used to reduce farming, but who cares at this point? I'm with it. It's just showing damage on <laughs> early game bosses with plus 15. Hey, okay, now this. The Capra Demons and Cheese. So equip Broken Straight Sword in your right hand. Look right and do a power attack. Then switch it to your left hand. Come over to this. Do the L2 to just kind of jump over. And then roll onto the wall of the boss gate. And you can shoot Capra Demon with a bow. Or you can do what I do later on. And just hop in the arena itself. Because there's no way I can get that dog from with a bow. So if you're stuck like me, you just want to do a running jump. And then you get happily into the boss arena. And then the only things I have AI in this is just the dogs. So feel free to uh, do a nice point down gesture to Capra Demon. And get the one shot plunge attack on him. And there you go, plus 15 great club, zero bosses killed until afterwards. But it looks like you made it to the end of the video. Oh, like and subscribe if you want, comment below. And in the meantime, my character will be suspended in animation in the void until the next video. But like always, bye for now.